Well, hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and here we are on holiday again. This holiday is in Greece, well it's in a Greek island, it's in Corfu in Greece and um, what I better to do to make is uh, than a Greek salad and uh, here are the ingredients that we have. We've got a cucumber which I might peel, I might not. We've got one red onion, we've got some mixed herbs um, and some of the very finest Greek olive oil and olives, they love their olives here, they have olives on everything. We had an olive ice cream the other day. Here we've got some feta cheese. Oh look at the size of that tomato, makes my ones back, back home look like marbles. Anyway, this won't be going in the uh, salad, this will be going in me. Okay, we're back in the kitchen and we'll start with the feta cheese. We're going to cut this into small chunks or small squares really. This stuff is just so cheap over here. Then we slice the tomato. I slice it this way and uh, drop my little knife. It's mega sharp that is. Anyway, if you slice it this way, it looks much better on the plate. You see what I mean? Okay, now the, uh, the red onion. I'm only going to use half of this, that should be enough. Thinly sliced. And then we start on this lovely Greek cucumber. taste. Because if it's tough, I'm going to take the skin off. Sometimes you take the seeds out, but I won't bother with that. Ready to go. So now with the artistic part of the uh, cooking, well, assembling really. We'll start with the tomatoes. Can't get over how big these are. Goes all the way around. Just about, I think. And then these uh, buff cuts, we can call these, we'll pop those in the middle. There we go. And then on with this um, lovely red onion. We'll just slice this up a little bit. Pull it apart. Just sort of making a, a picture on a plate, if you like. I think that's just enough, I think. Now for the cucumber. Scatter these chunks about. Turn that bit mixed, some are big, some are small. But all are delicious. And then the feta. And that goes, you can't get better than feta. And as flies try to join us, it can go away. Then with this uh, mixed herbs, you can just use oregano, but mixed herbs, it's going to be better, but not better than feta. Then on with the uh, olives. They look as if they got stones in. So I have to be a bit careful with those. Let's try one. Ow! Back to the dentist when we get back. I think 
there should be enough. I'll save the rest. Get some of my cornflakes in the morning. Now a dressing of olive oil. Extra virgin. I might add. Looks delicious. And there you have it, my first attempt at the Greek salad. Now for the taste test, can't get it all on one fork, it'll take a little while, but... Oh, so delicious. It's the herbs, and that was the feta cheese. I won't risk another olive, can't afford the dentist bill. Delish. Thanks everyone for watching my latest video of a traditional Greek salad made in Greece. How cool is that? And I'm going to finish it off with a local delicacy which is their uh, kumquat liqueur. Nothing like a drop of alcohol to wash the food down. So I'll see you again next time. Don't forget, subscribe, like and share and I'll be back. Bye for now.